Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today we've come to the west side of the Brecon Beacons to go wild camping. Any fan flower and what a spot it is. Right, just show you around this four class MT900 trekking pole tent. Right, I'll show you what I bought with me today. Right, let's get cooking. Five of us today, it's bank holiday weekend, so we've all grouped up. Finally, all got together. It's gonna be absolutely epic wild camp. So behind me, I've got Linny Van Fat, which is like, really really popular spot for wild campers and a lot of paddle boarders and just anyone who wants to dip in the water it's absolutely gorgeous around here so we've got a six mile route to our wild camping spot which isn't there it's in a special location hopefully nobody else is there and we've got about four miles back in the morning but it's a cracking route. We get to do this whole ridge line all the way across and just the 360 scenery is just staggering. It's the third time I've been to Wales this year and it looks like it's gonna be the third time I get a suntan, so I'm well chuffed about that. Bearing in mind it's only May as well. So today I have bought all my budget camping gear. I've bought a load of stuff from Decathlon. Like I genuinely do rate all their camping gear. It's really good, especially their four class MT900 series. That's really well made stuff. And you know, if you're camping in these sort of conditions, you don't need all your really expensive Gucci four season stuff. It's totally overkill and all your cheaper gear comes into its own. And to be honest, it's the cheaper gear where all the value for money is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you all my Decathlon camping gear when we set up camp. Right, we've got our first wild camper. Bit early to pitch, three o'clock. It's probably not gonna get dark till about 10 o'clock tonight. Right, wild campers, first big summit of the day. Not many people know this. It was actually named after Pokemon. This is Pikachu's. So we've climbed the Pokemon Mountain. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, look at these views. So, so good. So there's been a lot of puffing and panting from some members of the group. So uh, it's definitely been a challenge, but it's just, it's just spectacular spectacular up here, it really, really is. It's great to see like a proper car and tea. Right, here we are. Second proper summit of the day. Van Vol, 781 meters. In the background here, I can finally see it. Penny van as well. So, been a crack in start to our backpacking adventure. Oh, it's just lovely. It's, uh, it's been tough with the heat, but the banter's kept us going. So now to move on for the biggest summit of the day where we'll be able to see our wild camping spot for the first time. Right, this is the final and largest summit of the day, Van Brekeniog. So, 
I can show you your world camping spot, which is just down there. Look at that. What a spot. What a spot to world camp. So it's going to be straight down, start pitching up. Okay, so the Garmin watch is saying 790 metres. It's actually 802 metres. So the Garmin is pretty accurate, to be fair. So this is our wild camping spot. Lenny Van Fowler. And what a spot it is. Right underneath the mountains and the sun. What a stunning wild camping location. So when you're wild camping, the first thing to do when you get to your site is not, do not pitch your tent first. Way more important things to do than that. Like putting your beers in the water. Right, just show you around this four class MT900 trekking pole tent. So it's a two person trekking pole tent with two vestibules, weighs 1.3 kilos. And it's using this like minimalist, no dye outer fabric show you my sleep system that i'm using so i've got the four class mt 900 down sleeping bag which is 945 grams costs about 160 quid comfort rating of zero four class pillows only about 15 quid but it's really comfy and then this is the four class mt 500 long and wide sleeping pad our value is one and a half so it's a summer sleeping pad, but I think it's about 60 quid. Then I've got my Revolution race gear for tonight. Right, I'll show you what I bought with me today. So I've got four class sit pad, which I will use now. I've got my Summit Trail Blend coffee, medium bodied espresso with soft acidity with maple syrup sweetness and hints of pecan, sounds good. I've got my AeroPress Go top quality coffee up on the mountain. I've got my one person four class cook set, which I think is 900 grams. Got the top with a strainer. I've got a 200 gram canister in here. That's stainless steel. I've also got my jet boil summit skillet for steaks with some veggies then i've also got electrical bag including my flex tail gear tiny pump x2 pump I've got a little four class gas stove with a little igniter which is really quite smart i'll use that in a minute got my oex body trek and towel because i'm going to go for a swim in a minute got my fuel porridge for the morning a little milks also got a like a little wash bag with some wipes with toothbrush toothpaste trowel if i need it then i've also got another bag with like plate olive oil lots of spices gsi spice missile treat yourself to go get yourself one um seed summit cutlery set i've got my msr utensils for mistake seed to summit collapsible mug two and then these are my clothes, so I've got my Cotopaxi down jacket, spare socks, skins, and some spare boxes as well. So that's what I bought with. On the other side of the tent, I've got my four class MT900 Ultralight, sort of 50, 60 litre backpack, weighs 1.3 kilos. It's been really, really good today, actually, I've got to say. Um, got my flip flops and water filtration system which is a big one because uh, i'm going to go through a lot of water tonight because i'm feeling a little bit dehydrated all right let's get cooking let's get these steaks on Ooh, 
warming the cockles at the same time. <laughs> Wind direction is clearly changing. Right, let's get cooking. Some little veggies going on. Right, Mark, what's cooking, mate? What's so, cooking? just to begin with, course number one, we have uh, mushrooms and some asparagus here. For a change, it beats the old boiler bag, doesn't it? For a change. Morning campers, it's about half past six, time for a brew, got up about half four for the sunrise, it didn't quite happen, but it's going to be another lovely day today, but I could really do it for coffee. <laughs> I'm just going to be using my little decathlon one person cook set. I think this is cheap as chips. I think it's, oh, it might even be something like 15 quid. Unbelievable. So, stick that on there, stick some of my filtered water in. So, today, I think everyone's going to have a bit of this. Ladventure Summit Trail Blend Coffee. And I've bought my proper AeroPress Go, which creates the best coffees. Now, as usual, I've got my standard fuel protein porridge from Tesco's. Always does the trick, tastes really good. But I had a, quite a good night, really. There's not a lot of wind. Um, there wasn't a lot of noise either. Got woken up by God knows how many sheep this morning though. But this tent's done really well. I was well impressed with this. A bit of condensation on it, but not, not too much at all. And um, that sleeping bag's really good. Really, really good. Oh, that smells mega. Oh, 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 lovely, 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 lovely. Right, so it's just starting to come to the boil now. Stick in its nice insulated pouch. Right, so that's our wild camp finished. We've got two massive packs of rubbish. We're leaving no trace. As always, no fires, any funny business like that. There was about 30 tents here last night. I've never seen so many tents in my life. But everyone was well behaved. It was, uh, yeah, it's good. Good to see so many people out enjoying this absolutely amazing place. It's so, so good. Very remote, very hard to get to. But, oh God, it's worth it. Right, so would I recommend decathlon gear? Absolutely, it's been brilliant, all of it, from like my trekking poles to my tents, great. I gave the sleeping mat to my mate because it was long and wide and he had a smaller one. He reckons he fell asleep within 20 seconds, went to bed about 11, slept straight through to seven o'clock in the morning. So that's probably like the best review ever. Um, my sleeping bag was really nice. Um, it really dipped last night, the temperature. So I am glad I bought it. It was just really nice and toasty and warm without being like too hot. Um, slept pretty well for me. Uh, pillow's good. Um, that little gas stove, superb. Um, 
half the price of like a Soto Windmaster stove or MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe, done the job just as well. Uh, little cook set, fantastic. It's just, just great value gear. It really, really is. You know, I should think it probably all has its limitations a little bit if it's like really windy or really cold. But, you know, for days like today, you know, proper free season camping, you cannot, you can't beat some of these budget brands. And Decathlon is just one of the greatest. There's loads of R&D goes into their uh, equipment. Like for instance, like their tents are wind speed tested. Um, it's just really, really good stuff. So I'll be doing a full loadout of my Decathlon gear. I've got all of this plus more. I'll go through like prices, specs, and I'll show you some close up shots of all that Decathlon camping gear as well. But please check out my Penny Fan Wild Camping video. That is a cracking video. So if you do want to watch one of my wild camping videos, do check that out. Put a link at the end of this. But I'll put all the links in the description. But thanks for watching and hope to see you wild camping soon. Cheers.